and it's time for another installment of As These Are Not Stupid or whatever I decide to name this maybe series. Okay, so. Ugh, gotta make sure my leg is all nice and tucked up. I would have posted another one, guys, except I had what my partner lovingly calls the plague. <coughs> which is basically bronchitis from getting pelted by hail. Minnesota, right? We're gonna get snow tonight. Ugh. So I thought I'd best get this done before I get the plague again or something. Uh, so, this morning I had an episode I decided that for this winter's project, I was going to make, I uh, can't really call it a painting, but a, a picture with rocks. Oh. Rocks, okay. And I organized them this morning before I had breakfast. I woke up at like 10 something. And it was, oh, two or three by the time I realized that um, I should have eaten breakfast. But here we have leopard or Dalmatian or whatever stones. Pardon me, Nis. And these are the white, beige, off-white ones. And the black ones, and so on and so forth. Now, I did find some that I really love that probably won't be part of the picture because they're too darn big. I like this one. Kind of got a zigzaggy dinosaur back pattern. The picture doesn't show up very well. This one is pretty awesome. Again, you can't really see it. Well, darn it. Well, you can't see, but it's it's pink. And then it's got black on the back. I think that's kind of cool. And then there's this one. Probably won't show up very well either. No, it's not. But, if I just so to say, kind of has a coral look with little holes and things. And then it's got a solid strata here. And kind of cool. And then there's my word I don't use because things happen to things I label my favorite. I love this stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's like a, I don't know, like a maroon. Anyway, yes, before I had breakfast from 10 till about 2 or 3, I sat organizing my rocks into different jars, which, by the way, I have been hoarding. Every time you get jelly or olives or whatever, I wash out the jar and I keep it. Because I knew I was going to be sorting all my rocks and my beach glass. I have clear beach glass, colored beach glass. Because the picture that I want to do is going to be, you know, the usual lighthouse thing. And, uh, uh now I'm all warm. I'd open the window, but there's wind blowing, and you wouldn't be able to hear. Typical white lighthouse thing, you know, the foamy beach breakers, and, you know, my, my, not really trademark, but my, my usual orca surfacing. And I thought beach glass could be the water or the sky or whatever. So I spent the whole morning organizing rocks while the dishes still aren't done. And the filing. Still not done. See <coughs> 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 what I mean? That's the life of an Asby. The rocks were interesting to me. The dishes, not so much. I'll do them, I'll do them. Really, I will. And I had written down notes and I can't find them. That's another thing. I make notes, write things down so I won't forget them, and then lose the notes. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, that's what I was going to talk about. 
Yeah, I know. Five minutes in and I'm just getting to what I was originally going to talk about. Um, apparently, as these, uh, can be hypersensitive to the senses. Touch? Not me. Not really. Smell? Oh, yes. Very. Skunk? I literally went to the emergency room because of skunk. I don't know if I'm allergic or what, but my head was doing all kinds of not fun. Allergies and whatnot. Oh, boy, I'm sweltering. Ugh. So, smell, most definitely. I can smell things before my partner does. I'm like, you can't smell anything new, and sometimes it'll take a minute, and he'll smell it, and sometimes he won't. But, I am hypersensitive to smells, especially food, you know. Speaking of food, taste. I always, see, my sisters were born in Florida. I was born in California. And you know what they say, you know, whatever you eat when you're pregnant, your child will most likely like. Well, I never liked Floridian Southern food. I always liked the lighter fare of California. You know, sushi and pizza and things like that. Well, now that I know that uh, people with Asperger's tend to have heightened senses to some things, I figure that's why. Especially salt. <laughs> salt and sweet. I hate frosting. Mm, it's so hyper sweet. Salt, pepper. Oh my gosh, my mom put pepper on everything. No wonder I was skinny. I don't. I don't like spicy food. Not that I'm a wimp. I'm just hyper sensitive. And and like even the smell. Oof. Make your eyes water. You know. And I don't like. I'm a texture eater. I don't know if that falls under sensitivity to the sense of touch in your mouth. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being the key, like a flan or cottage cheese. <coughs> Can't say those. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, sight? Eh, only if I've got a migraine. Yeah. Um, sound. Now, this is going to seem weird uh, if my sisters are watching because I would listen to music blaring when I was a teenager. I was a teenager. <laughs> we do that. But, uh, after a while I did the whole headphones thing. But here's the thing. Music, you know, that's, that's a personal thing. I did that. I can control it. Great. Now, of course, I can't listen to music very loud anymore. My sensitivity to sound has gotten more sensitive the older I've gotten. Maybe that's just because I'm an old fuddy-duddy. Maybe, maybe Asperger's gets more pronounced the longer you don't treat it or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert. But what I do know is that even if somebody's talking a bit loudly, like if they say something right in my ear, or they're across the room and it sounds like it's right in my ear, it's like, oh man, dude, no. Even laughter, I mean, even my own voice. If I say something that's too loud, it's like, ooh, uh. And see, here's the thing. I don't like um, parties or raves or clubs or concerts. The only concert I've been to was a classical concert. Um, not very loud, those things. You know. And I have to wonder if maybe that's why people with Asperger's don't like crowds. Because of the noise. Oh my goodness, the noise. You can't hear yourself think. And if somebody's speaking loudly or with great emotion, or I'm in a crowd, it feels like my ears are going, wow, 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 
like my ears are speakers. You know how they, you know, boom, boom, boom. That's what it feels like. Like there's this pressure beating in on my ears. So now th it's gonna sound weird again because I grew up in Florida and there's Disney. I loved to go to Disney, but I hated the lines. Now I think the reason that I didn't mind, I call it crowd walking. Because you know, you gotta weave between the people moving slowly if you know where you're going and they don't. But, oh, this hat is really itchy. Um, when you're in a crowd and you're crowd walking, you're outside, so you have an avenue of escape should something happen. But when you're inside in one of the queues, if something happens, you're screwed. You could get, you know, you could get buried in the crush. And there's nothing you can do. But it's also the noise. You know. Children screaming, people laughing, ugh, and smells, by the way. Smoking. Back when I was a kid, and I'm gonna sound old, they didn't there weren't laws about where you could smoke. So there would be people smoking in the line. So there were people loud. You know, they were loud, there was a lot of people, and there was cigarette smoke and perfume. Ugh. I, I can... Hi, Miss. Perfume can literally make me nauseous. I can taste the stuff. I can taste perfume. Oh, it is so nasty. Ugh. And I feel bad when I get perfume for a birthday or Christmas, because sometimes it's really strong. Not the person who bought it, but to me it is. Um, so I feel bad. I still wear it. Um, I just wear less of it. My daughter got me stuff that I love. That actually smells good. But um, found out the hard way. One spritz is enough. Two is just overwhelming and it sets my allergies off. But it smells nice. And not only do I like it, but my but Sean likes it too. So thank you, Emily. <laughs> Um, but in the past, I have gotten perfume that is just, oh my gosh, you take one whiff and you're blind. Ooh. The stuff that Emily got me is wonderful. It's kind of middle of the road. It's not um, the kind of stuff you can just go ch -ch 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 and, and you're fine, but it's not the stuff that even one spritz is too much. One is fine. So, but yeah, smells. Sights don't really bother me, but smells, tastes, touch doesn't really bother me except, you know, bleh. I don't like nuts in my food. Yes, you can laugh, but, you know, like I don't like chicken with almonds or cashews. You know, nuts where they go. Not in, anyway, so not so much touch or sight, but definitely sound, smell, and taste. And the more I learn about Asperger's, the more I identify with it. And I go, wow, I just thought that was me. I just thought I was being weird. I know I'm weird, but you know what I meant, I hope. Um, so, yeah. And now, speaking of taste, I don't like strong alcohol. I like the fruity stuff. I don't like being drunk. Oh, I can't really see it. I don't like being drunk. I like to remember what I've done. And I've seen bad examples of drunks. This is all the alcohol I will have had in... Four months? Maybe more? I just don't do it. Like, I don't like... I'll, I'll, I'll drink decaf coffee and be fine. Because it's not as strong. I'll drink sugar-free be fine, because it's not as strong. Shut up, stomach. <laughs> Lovely interjection. So, and it makes it interesting living with um, a southern gentleman who's Irish, because they like, you know, lots of seasoning, heavy food, and we've gotten to the point to where he will season the food eh, the way I like it, which he says is bland, that's me. And then he'll add seasoning to his own. Compromises. Yeah. 
So, and it's a, it's a lot of compromises. <coughs> <coughs> and we may not be done, but we are weird. Spend, what, five hours sorting rocks for stones and not wanting to do the dishes. And as you can see, my hair is out of my face again. That's one of my things. Can't have my hair in my face. See, now didn't I tell you that the broadcasts after the original would be shorter? This one's only 15 minutes long. There you go. Here's another installment. Ta-da!